Advancements in technology has also changed the landscape of sports injury management and rehabilitation. Nicknamed the Fountain of Youth in the United States, the cryogenic chamber has now made recovery and healing process faster for injured athletes and sports enthusiasts. It actually cools all the body, so what happens to the body? It copes. It copes by all the blood, you go to the center now, because our body in the center is actually the, the warmest, right? So it all goes there. And once you step out, you can actually feel the blood flowing, going back to the peripheral. What it does, when it goes there, it actually stimulates the healing process now. Once the healing process occurs, or when it happens, all the metabolism, all the healing process works. That's actually one way of actually relaxing all our bodies. When your body is relaxed, it actually works properly already. The stress is down, the inflammation's down, the swelling's down, because everything's relaxed. Eh? That's the only way your body will work properly and recuperate for the next day of working out again. Modern sports injury management and rehabilitation is now a holistic and collective effort. The belief is that to avoid getting injuries, one has to train and work hard, true to some extent. But for sports experts and elite athletes, the most effective way to prevent injuries is to train smart and develop discipline and proper attitude. Because even in these high-tech times, prevention is still better than cure. Yung may injury, kailangan mo talaga siyang i-maintenance ng workout at rehabilitation. So every time na medyo napuyat ka, medyo matagal kang hindi nakapag-workout, mararamdaman mo yung injured leg mo humihina. So kailangan mo siyang i-workout talaga. Maintenance mo na yan. In a week, siguro, dapat mga nakaka-twice workout yun dun sa leg mo. Or activation ng muscle. Kasi yung muscle, nag-shutdown siya every time na nagre-relax, napapagod, pag-overwork, yan. So, kailangan din, babalance mo yung rest and workout dun sa leg mo. Warm up first, warm up properly. Yung approach mo sa sports mo, kailangan i-practice mo lahat ng movement mo. If you're doing pivoting, if you're doing long jump, high jump. In practice, gawin mo na lahat ng movement mo para pagdating sa game, normal na, regular na yung movement. Kasi pag may ginawa kang bagong movement, then hindi ready yung katawan mo, may possibility na may injured ka.